Hello everyone. Every day this week I'm going to be drawing seabirds and today is all about the gannet. So I thought I would show you a few pictures and tell you a little story to get us started. Yes, before you say it, I know this isn't a bird. This is a cinnabar moth caterpillar and generally cinnabar moth caterpillars don't have much to do with gannets. But on this occasion there is a link because this is a photograph I took a few years ago now and I entered it into a competition and I won a visit to this place and this place has a lot to do with gannets. It's a, an island in the North Sea on the east coast of Scotland not far from Edinburgh and each year lots and lots of gannets hang out there and when I say lots and lots I mean lots, roughly 150,000 gannets hang out on Bass Rock each year. So to put that into some context, if all of those gannets fancied a day out to say the city of Edinburgh and they didn't want to fly because you know they, they fly all the time, they wanted to give their wings a rest, so they thought they'd take the bus. So if every single one wanted to go, they would need roughly 1,136 double-decker buses to get them there. That's a lot of buses. In fact, that's a really big queue at the bus stop. So the gannet is our bird today, and these are the things you'll need to draw along. So I've used a buff colour paper today and a white pencil to colour my gannet in. But if you don't have those things, then don't worry. Just use a regular piece of paper, a pencil to draw your gannet and a colour of your choice for the sky. So we're going to take our pencil and the first thing we're going to draw is the bird's beak. And just like the other birds we've done, it's a tall triangle without the shorter edge and then a smaller triangle at the back and that's going to form the shape of our beak. And put the line down the middle so that our beak can open and then we're going to draw the top part of the head which is a shallow line from the top of the bill towards the back here and if you need to adjust your line then that's absolutely fine. And then we're going to take this line uh, along the back and then up for the wing So now we're going to take a line from the bottom of the beak and put in the bottom part of our gannet. And then bring the line all the way under like this and back towards the tail feathers. That's our bird's belly. And then just put in the wing tips up here and then bring the wing down the way and back towards the body like that and then take a line from here underneath the wing don't draw that bit in though and then draw in from the wing back to the tail feathers like this and you might want to just adjust the bottom of the bird and then we're going to put the other wing in and because it's a little bit further away, it just needs to be a bit shorter. There you are. I think our gannet needs an eye now, but we'll just tidy up the top of the beak here. They've got really dark line at the back of the beak. And you'll remember that our gannet has a bright blue eye, so you need to grab your blue crayon. You can pause the video just here if you like, so you can catch up and put in a bright blue eye and then a black dot in the middle. So once you've done your eye, we're then going to put the, the striking markings on the, the face of the gannet just here. Follow that in. The 
and just shade the top of the beak. They've got really lovely grey beaks and if you just hold your pencil lightly and um, and use it lightly you'll get a really light mark. If you press down more heavily you'll get a darker mark. That's what we'll do up here at the top of the wings. We'll put in our black wing tips. When you see these birds out at sea from, from the coast they are so bright with black wing tips, really striking. And put in the other wing tip, just like that. And if I'm going too fast, you know, pause at any point so that you can catch up. With your white pencil. Start colouring in the gannet. And I mentioned at the start of the video that um, there's 150,000 gannets that visit Bass Rock, which is the largest colony anywhere in the world of northern gannets. It's amazing. So that makes the, the Bass Rock a very special place. There you are. Next you'll need your blue. Actually I think we'll just just darken up the the beak a bit, just tidy the edges up. They've got a really pointy beak. I'll just darken the top up a little bit as well. Now you need your blue crayon and I'm going to start putting in the sky. I like a bright blue sky but that doesn't mean to say that you have to have a bright blue sky for your picture and I think it's worth remembering as well that you don't always have to paint or draw your sky blue. The sky can have lots of different colours. It can be grey, it can be blue, it can be orange, it can be pink be lots of different colours. So I'm using blue here but you don't need to use blue. Why don't you mix it up a bit and try a different colour. I'm just speeding this bit up. I think we're about there. So there you have it, a gorgeous gannet. So I hope you enjoyed that. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye bye.